Pete Moore, Gunmark TV. Got something quite nice here from Jackson Rifles, the moderated people. It's called the Automatic Stock, and it's a chassis system made of all places in the Ukraine. And if you want to laugh, you want to go on their website and look at their crazy video where they're running these things over with trucks and things. Wouldn't do it to a chassis personally, but that's them, but it's a crack. Anyway, enough of this. This is, I'll quote, because there's a lot of things to say about it. It's made from CNC machined 7075T6 aluminium alloy, and it's anodized. Um, this, I think they call desert or something, looks like titanium or champagne to me. It's also available in black. The gun, sorry, the chassis comes compatible for AICS magazines, but doesn't include one. And it's also AR-15 pistol grip compatible. Again, it doesn't come through Jackson's supply the mag and the pistol grip. So anything you fancy from an AR-15, the only thing is the ones with the fill-in thumb strap, perhaps not quite so good, but this is an ergo type and it's a cracking grip because it's really big and fat, as you can see. First things first, it's a folding stock. We don't really need that because we're not tactical tins, but from the point of view of storage, press that button in there, hinge it down, and it locks to the side. This is titanium, this little catch, and that's the one that holds it all together. So if you could put it in the gun bag and you've got a long rifle, it's probably gonna be a 24 inch barrel on a, on a gun that would use a chassis like this. It's a great idea. So you just press that in, like so. It's a little bit stiff. Pull it out. And as you can hear that bank vault click, it locks solid as a rock. The build, very high quality inside, a very nice action void. Obviously, you don't need to bed this nice big recoil pocket there. Um, you have a sort of split trigger guard, which just saves weight, but there's plenty of room in there for fingers and things. Uh, and you've got a lovely big lever for the mag change, which again is very nice. The fore end is all M lock compatible, as you can see. There, there, and there. And it's also drilled, I don't know if you can catch that, drilled and tapped for a night vision hood, which is basically a wrap, wrap over mount. So a lot of people go forward mounted these days and it's good for that sort of thing. Um, it comes with an M lock Harris bipod adapter, basically it's a little T-plate that slides into the M lock. You provide the machine screw from Harris and then you can put on a Harris bipod or you can put on a Picatinny rail and put on what you like really. The butt is fully adjustable. You have this one here, does your length to pull. It's a bit fiddly to you have to undo it quite a lot and yank it backwards and forwards, but uh, it's generous enough. Wind it back up and the comb is the same. Again, it's up and down like that. Interesting thing about the comb, once I've locked these down, is this little polymer cheek piece, you can call it, or, or comb really. And it's it's quite small, but you can, if you can see, it's got like a long and short end, undo these screws, flip it round, depending on where you like your head. And this middle screw here, undo it, and you can shift it left and right, probably about three quarters of an inch, so you can you know, adjust your head position. Even nicer is you have an angleable butt pad, which I found on some of my chassis type stocks is really useful because it sits beautifully in the shoulder pocket rather than vertical at an angle and it just sits so naturally. Also, it is height adjustable. Uh, the kit comes with a short section of Picatinny rail for a rear grip, though if you were gonna ride a bag, you'd take it off. Uh, what I really like about it is just this massive, massive barrel channel. As you can see, you could probably get a 20 mil cannon barrel in there if you wanted to. And when I put um, one of my rifles into barrel action, you'll, you'll see it will fit together. Um, this is for a 700 short action, I believe automatic also doing for savages. Uh, the only thing I found about it is that when I dropped my 700 action into it, everything fits perfectly, but there's a lot more meat here and the standard screw that you would fit in a normal sporting type stock is too short. 
I had to get a, a full length one and cut it down to four threads off the shank and it's fine. It doesn't take long and easy to get hold of, but just bear it in mind. The rear screw, I didn't have any problems with it at all. Um, really, this is a really nice stock. I've shot it, it's as solid as a rock. Um, price wise, we are not talking cheap. They are, I think, $1,199.99. A um, lot of money, I'm not knocking it, but it is what it is. So, that is the automatic stock. I've dropped my Bagara B14 HMR action into the stock. As you can see, the barrel is mid-weight and there's still masses of room for a free float around it. So, the, the free float is doing its job very, very well indeed. Um, the other thing, I'm just using the, the, the 10 round mag, it's an ICS type mag with five rounds of 6.5 Creedmoor. So let's just bang a few rounds off. I've set up the butt how I want it, so everything's ready to go. Make it clip in nicely. clear um shoots well it feels good not a lot of recoil the stock's pretty comfortable um new mag takes a little bit of wearing in you pretty that's a little tiny bit of feed hesitation because it's just a brand new mag uh, but overall it produces quite a nice custom type rifle okay pete moore from gunmark tv catch you later